Hello everyone, I'm Dionysis. We are here today with Mr. Orlando Wilson of Risks Incorporated. Uh, if you don't follow Risks Incorporated, go out and do so. And uh, yeah, they should. They should. Uh, go on. So, and today we are going to have a um, brief little chat about social media in general and LinkedIn, which is our favorite at the moment. At the moment. Yeah. So, what do you think of social media? I mean, social media is a pain in the ass, to put it very, very politely. Yeah. But the trouble is these days, if you're running a business, you need to have a, a social media presence. Mm -hmm. The trouble is with a lot of platforms, they're very picky on what you can put up and picky what you can't put up. The algorithms are changing all the time, so it's a quite it's a little bit of a minefield. Okay, you've been running various, you know, the risks incorporated business is about training, close protection, firearms, various stuff. Mm. Uh, how have you seen social media being about your business, about your field? Well, everything's changed. Um, I think I got the first website up in something like '98. Okay. So I was 16 years old at that time. <laughs> little, little brat. Um, so back in the day, and I was saying this again, I've been talking about this quite a bit recently with people. Back in the day, you used to be able to have a website and that used to pull in the traffic. Mm. And we used to get fairly good results just from the websites. We had multiple websites up, etc. as long as you was up on the main search engines and there used to be more back in the day. Um, you used to get some following and again, we used to get good business from the websites. Um, again, everything needs to be SEO'd and everything else, whatever. But it's changed. It went through a change, I think, and we were saying this now about Google. We used to make okay money. You mean not big money from Google, but in the day you could pay your bills, your internet bills through Google. It was a side income. It was side income. It's, it's money for nothing, just having videos up. And I think they changed their algorithms and it all crashed. Um, I stopped the advertising on Google for various reasons, etc. Um, and over the years, the other issue we've had, I've lost LinkedIn accounts. I've lost a YouTube account <laughs> with thousands of followers. We've been blocked on Facebook. We've lost Twitter. Well, Twitter accounts just don't work. Now X. X is the same. Um, we've got a Facebook page up I can't access because we were blocked on it. Back in the early days of social media, you could do what you want. Okay. And then over the years, they clamped down on, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this. And all of a sudden, pages are disappearing because you posted something 10 years ago or five or six years ago that's now offensive. And I think the final thing I lost, the admin page to the Risk Inc. Facebook page that's still up with like 28,000 followers, was the big offense was I reposted an Antifa hunting club um, meme. Okay. Just we lost the account. For posting a meme? For po reposting somebody else's meme. There was some other stuff they pulled us for, goofy comments, or we had how many strikes over how many years, and all of a sudden it's gone for that. So the trouble is with social media, you have to be very careful these days on what you put up. So it's becoming a thought police? It's very much a thought police. Um, we had something just pulled on one of the YouTube accounts, and again, it's a warning about pen guns. It's not, we're not promoting this, we're not selling it. It's this thing up there for security personnel for, okay, if you see this, it's... it's you're, it's, you're educating It's the an masses. educational thing. Yeah. But again, it's like, you've got to remember a lot of the people that's going through this and checking out, if you go to, to ask to review this, they see a gun and they panic. Oh, it's nasty, it's a gun. But it's back down to, with all this, a lot of the people that's reviewing the content have got absolutely no clue about what they're doing no clue about what's what they're actually reviewing they're just okay we don't like this we don't like that we don't like this it's not woke enough we don't we don't want anything to do how, how does it work do they get paid per piece do you I do i don't it? know mate because, I don't know. because if they need to have a certain target number of videos cut hey we had something up on linkedin um, and i've had issues with all accounts and we stopped posting uh mexican police videos okay because some of the videos we got up a train in the cops in mexico um, come back as organized crime. You're promoting organized crime. <coughs> what? And, I, and I said to, again, I got into, I asked for a review, and I said, well, how are we promoting criminals? We're on the range training the police. Yes, but it's a legal activity. Okay, we're on the range with the police. What's illegal about training so the police? So how are the police, what are they going to do, arrest themselves? 
Is the police an, uh, a criminal organization? Well, apparently they are in Mexico, <laughs> according to all these people. It's Mexico, it's gone. So, okay, whoever's reviewing it said we can't do that. So we stopped posting um, anything to do with Mexican cops on LinkedIn. Which um, still is our favorite social media. It still is the favorite social media, but I have issues with those. We had issues again, um, knives. I can't put anything up to do with knives. And again, I asked for a review and they send you back a thing. Oh, it's illegal activities. I said, well, what's illegal? Well, this, the knives or something to do with guns. It's like, okay. I said, okay, if this is illegal, can you tell me, um, can you put me in touch with the police? If you're saying I'm doing anything illegal, I will go to the police report now. Me. Report me to the police. I'm happy to answer any questions. Again, guns aren't licensed in the state of Florida, but I might conceal weapons permit, business licenses, whatever. What do you need? Investigation agency licenses, security agency licenses. If what we're doing is illegal, report me. I will go to the police now. I will hang myself. <laughs> Nothing. Then, then they're like, um, we can't say anything about it. And it's funny, I'll pull LinkedIn on this one. They were pulling me for all this stuff. And when I start, I got a book up on vigilantes in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And when I was promoting that, and again, we got a lot of haters. We got a lot of people complaining about all our posts, right? When I was promoting this up, that, the promotion, some of the pictures from the book, it's a picture of book from when I was in Nigeria with the vigilantes. That was taken down, spam. <coughs> I'm like, why is this, uh, again, at when that, the big complaint went in, I said, well, why was this taken down? Why was this shown, uh, you mean only I can see it? And all, why are you restricting this? Didn't get back to me. I said to him, okay, I know why, because certain people on my LinkedIn don't want to see black people running around first thing in the morning when, they, when they're drinking their coffee, and then they go quiet. I never had a response from LinkedIn why that post, why those posts about that book were not allowed to be viewed. Okay, but why is LinkedIn still your number one preferred social media? It's business. Okay. Where it's more to do with business. I was talking, okay, we've just restarted the TikTok accounts. Yeah? You know what? TikTok is the most Sucks. stupid. Sucks. It's, you mean your people, I was joking, I was joking with you about it. Yeah. About how can you make money? It's like, we need to get you dressed up and dressed up as a woman doing dances on TikTok. <laughs> and we'll make money. I'll be your pimp. Sorry, I'll be your producer. <laughs> yeah? Be but, agent. Agent. But again, it's back down to, you want to do serious stuff. It's like, social media is not a place for serious stuff. It's a necessary evil, but... It's a necessary evil, but TikTok to me is stupid. <laughs> we it... have Instagram. Instagram now is shadow banning anything to do with firearms. Even though, and this is what people forget, most people in the firearms business, and we're not talking criminals, if you're in the firearms business, especially internationally, you have to follow the laws. Mm -hmm. You have to know the rules. You have to know the regulations. If you're doing anything illegal, your ass is going to jail. So most people in the firearms business are usually the most responsible people you want to meet. The same as you say about drones. The serious drone people are serious. And most people from what I see on social media that's advertising about firearms, firearms mm -hmm. training, etc., are very professional, conscientious people. If not, the cops will be knocking on their door, their licenses are gone, their permits are gone. Their life, is, are, their life is ruined. Their life is ruined and they're going to jail. But again, this is something that a lot of people don't understand. Yeah, but stuff like Meta, Facebook, I wouldn't touch. Um, Nowadays. Instagram, it's borderline. Um, so <coughs> we're left with LinkedIn. With, and with, with LinkedIn even today, you know, nowadays you will see people posting their dog, their kid, you know, non-professional stuff that have no, no place on a LinkedIn. You know what, if you don't like it, Just don't look at it. Mm -hmm. And this is back down to freedom of speech, whatever. It's like you can go to whatever business convention and you got some idiot there talking about BS. Okay. If you don't want to listen to it, go somewhere else. And it, but this is the thing a lot of people forget with social media. In my perspective, if you don't like it, don't look at it. You don't like the account, block it. If somebody's a har giving you grief on social media, block them. Don't talk to them. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. It's freedom. So I think when people start clamping down on that, then you have problems. Okay. Yeah, it's the same with, again, not, I understand stuff like the graphic content and all the rest of it, but with a lot of the stuff, if, if you don't like guns, just block it. Mm. But again, you're all these frustrated, woke people, shall we say politely, just complaining, 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 complaining. Yeah, they want uh, the world to be their little woke world. Safer yeah. place to live.
Yeah, look at United Kingdom. That's a safe place at the moment. We'll, we'll talk about There's United Kingdom. There's not many stabbings going on, is there? We'll, we'll so. talk about United in another video. Well, you know. Wonderland of United Kingdom. He, he loves United Kingdom, you know. Totally. Yeah. Okay, so that's all for now. Since we've been talking about social media and bashing some of the social media for all, you know, the duration of this video, follow us on social media. It's research. a necessary evil. You need social media for your business. Yeah. And this is where you can run your whole business from social media, a lot of people do. But again, you need to understand it and you need to be tolerant with it. Because being tolerant with social media these days is, uh, for me, a big part of business. Because it's not going to be tolerant with you. Exactly. Okay, that's all for now. Follow us, use the comment section below and reshare the video if you find it thought-provoking and worth your time. That's all for now. Bye.